What's up everybody? This is Dave from the Davey HT3 here with another RC Heli tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the three different ways I know of to remove Loctite. I'm also going to go over how to get the Loctite out of the threads, in between threads. And I'm also going to talk about how to get the green Loctite out so that you can remove bearings from bearing blocks that were green Loctite in like this one was. So, uh... I hope you guys find this helpful. I want to just start off with a disclaimer that if you use bolts with Loctite all over them and you jam them into their threads and it's got hard Loctite, it will eat away your threads, uh, it will strip out your bearing block, it will strip your threads on your bolts, and you could throw a blade. Uh, you're going to have some sort of mechanical failure if that were to happen. So. You know, use caution. If you've already jammed bolts into bearing blocks and such and blade grips that were already covered in Loctite and you strip them out, go ahead and replace them because you're just going you're not going to do yourself any favors. You're going to you're going to destroy your piece and then you're going to have a failure and it's just not worth it losing a heli over something as simple as that. So, that out of the way, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's get started here. In this first method, what you're going to do is you're going to soak your bolts, whatever you want to remove the Loctite off of, in some good at least 91 or 95 percent isoprotonal alcohol. You're going to want to let them sit in there a few hours, maybe even overnight. Be aware the stuff will rust. If you leave it in there and all the alcohol evaporates, you're going to wake up, there's going to be rusty bolts in there. So another place where you're going to use common sense, but uh, let them soak and then you're going to grab your driver. It's the same size as the bolts that you're going to be freeing the Loctite from. Go ahead and pull the fastener out. I use a uh, little set of tweezers for that. makes it much easier. Grab your uh, fastener and your driver that's the correct size for the fastener. And what you want to do is take a piece of paper towel. Hold on to it as tightly as possible. I'm talking about the threads and rotate this guy and do the best you can try to get every fiber of the paper towel in between the threads and try to work out the Loctite and this is effective it can work but really <clears throat> you're still going to have some some Loctite stuck in there so it's not really the best way but you can use it in a pinch if you're at the field and you gotta change out a fastener that's a pretty quick way Okay guys, the second way I want to show you to remove Loctite is taking a Red Bull soda tab off of the Red Bull container without ruining the tab itself. I'm not endorsing Red Bull or anything. The uh, Red Bull tabs have this nice, really thin piece of metal that you can squeeze in between a lot of small threads, a lot of different sizes. You can work it in here. And I advise letting this soak overnight in the alcohol and then you can run the the tab around the threads. This again is not really that effective. It will clean out your fastener. It just takes a long time and you're going to be sitting here trying to chip away at the stuff that's drying. Alcohol tends to dry very quickly and then you're stuck with kind of a crust you're trying to remove. You see that? But it is working and I uh, in a pinch once again you could do this it's also a good way to get the stuff from around the top of the screw here the fastener it will just take that out it's not bad uh... okay now guys I think I saved the best for last this is the best way I know of to remove Loctite it's very effective um, you see I have some channel locks with some rubber bands on it that's going to hold our fastener then you'll see I have a Benzomatic Micro Torch. This thing works great. They're like 15 bucks. Totally worth it. I'm going to do another video in the near future here on its uses in this hobby. Um, you're going to need a, a driver here that's the same size as your fastener. A little square of paper towel. And some rubbing alcohol. I saved the best fastener for last. This guy is caked in Loctite. And it's red Loctite. So this will be the hardest you're going to have to face. I'm going to show you the quickest way to remove it right now. First off, put your fastener into your channel locks. Okay, so we got our fastener in the channel locks. What you want to do is elevate the channel locks 
I'm just doing this for video purposes because it's going to be hard to hold the uh, fastener. So uh, get your fastener in your channel locks and uh, I like to elevate it on the pad here I, uh, so I'm not burning nothing. These are just some strips of stainless steel bar that were left over from a project. Um, got some alcohol out here. Some of that 95% stuff with some fasteners still soaking in there. If you take your torch, fire it up. Oops, too much gas. There we go. Fire up your torch. Get the alcohol away from the torch. And start heating the fastener. I'm going to turn up the gas a little bit more here. I think I'm actually running out of gas in my torch. I'll just keep heating this until the Loctite hits about 280, 300 degrees, somewhere around there. And you'll see it's already just fading away. It's just shriveling up. And that, my friend, is almost a brand new fastener. Don't need to get it too hot. We're going to go ahead and squelch this and... I don't recommend doing this, but I'm just going to, because it's here, I'm going to just drop it in my alcohol. Squelch it good. Okay. Now it should be cool. I'm going to pull out my fastener. Let's get these out of the way here. Okay, guys. After squelching this in the rubbing alcohol, maybe give it an extra little dip. Grab a square of paper towel. And then, just like the first method, we're going to rub it in here as tightly as we can. And what we should see is a bunch of grime. And that was the Loctite. I basically carburized it. Um, carburizing is a good way to clean stuff. It, it looks like you should probably maybe put a wire brush or spin the fastener while you're doing it. I missed a little spot there. But um, that is the most effective way to remove Loctite. Okay guys, let's say we had some... Uh, thread locker stuck inside these threads here basically we're going to do the same thing fire up the torch and what we want to do is just heat up the area around the aluminum you don't want to heat one spot too much you want to kind of go around this whole thing heat it up really good it's going to melt it away and carburize it it kind of helps to wait until you see smoke you may not see smoke in like come from this one because it's pretty clean uh, maybe a little bit. I don't really use too much of that red Loctite in these bearing blocks, or blue Loctite, I'm sorry. But we go ahead and heat it up like that. Obviously let it cool a little bit before you handle it. Go ahead and take a Q-tip with some of your alcohol. I'm going to dip her in. And being careful not to touch this thing that's burning hot, kind of just go in there and get it out the best you can. Um... Yeah, there wasn't much in there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove the green Loctite to get this bearing out. This bearing's been green Loctited in. It's not just going to push through. It's in there really solid. So what we're going to do again, take our trusty torch. We want to set it up on these stainless steel things that I got here, making sure that the open face of the bearing is facing downward. This bearing is notchy, it has to be removed, and we need enough clearance in between these two posts here to clear the bearing through. So we're not just hitting it for no reason. At the spacing where it's at, I know I got enough room. I Too much gas. Light up your torch again, if you can. And you want to heat up the outer ring of this you want to heat up the outer ring of this bearing block you don't have to heat it too much just around 280 300 degrees keep going around keep the heat moving and what this is going to do is basically melt off the green Loctite and it's going to widen the bearing block so that you can remove your piece very easily so uh, the green Loctite doesn't have that high of a melt off temperature I don't think I think it's a bit lower than the blue or the uh, red Loctite. I see some smoke coming out so we'll go ahead and shut her down. And you kind of want to get to this quick. You don't want it to cool down and then 
you're stuck again. What I'm going to use here is an exacto. It's a larger size um, exacto knife holder, and I use this primarily on like my five and six hundred size helis. And you want to get it firmly pressed against this where it meets the shaft. And then you want to pop that bearing out with a hammer. Get these out of the way. You see that didn't take much force at all. And there's like melted green Loctite that has fallen from this recess. So there we go. She's a bit warm. And here's our notchy bearing. This guy's no good. He's going to go in the junk box. Okay, guys. So that's it. Those were the three best ways I know of to remove Loctite. Uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I'm going to keep on going with these videos. They seem to be doing well. I'll take any requests you guys got. If I have the equipment and I have the helis or whatever's needed to go through what you want to learn, I'll definitely do it. So, uh... Keep watching, thanks for clicking on the videos, and we'll see you next time. Take care.